It's as simple as that. And now we are going to assemble a bulk connector to two pieces of extrusion. The bulk connectors are, are made up of a barrel, two button head screws, which have our T-nut, a locating pin, and two cover caps for aesthetic reasons. First thing you do is you get your extrusion with the pre-drilled hole, take your barrel, slide it in there, and we take our pin, our locating pin, There's a line on here. You want to press that in so it's flush with that. Now it's flush. That enables us to make the assembly phase a little bit easier. Plus it holds the barrel in place. Now we'll take one extrusion. We'll take the other extrusion with the barrel in place. Put it in place. Locate it to your desired location. Take your button head Screw in the T-nut one and a half threads and you slide it into place. You get it to where you want. Bring your Allen wrench with the ball head and you assemble it down. Then you take your next button head, put it into your T-nut one and a half threads, drop that in, slide it into place, get your Allen wrench, torque it down. Now it's where you want it. The nice thing about this is you can loosen the hardware, slide the strut to the desired location without doing any drilling, without doing any tapping, and you're ready to go. These cover caps are just for aesthetic reasons. Some customers put cover stripping in. Once that's in, you press this into place and it cleans it up versus having the bulk connector exposed. It is a very strong piece of hardware. So when strength is of concern, we always use the bulk connector.